We have, uh, uh, like, uh, after every game, uh, we have uh, a lot of complaining about the referees in the live chat. Uh, it's now a constant thing in these uh, final games. A lot of games uh, in these uh, final... Um, and uh, after every game, after the games, uh, after the game of... Uh, Bamberg against Flipper of uh, uh, the uh, um, Orcas against uh, Molde. There was a lot of complaining against uh, refereeing. Um, as I said before, um, these are the best referees in the world. And... Uh, uh, to put the blame on the referees is... And, uh, and, and it's a lot that we don't see here yes, with, the, absolutely. with the cameras, you know, it's absolutely. easy to complain, but they are there, they they can, you know, feel the, the, the how the game, I mean, how harsh it is, how not, and, and well, well, we are all humans, we all do mistakes, but there's no favoritism of any no, of the absolutely. referees. And uh, sometimes, you know, there can be a mistake in one direction or the other, but that's the way uh, it is. Yeah, Everywhere, that's, that's there's no perfect that's referee. That's there's no per that's perfect sports. human, and I and I I didn't see any uh, match where referees were f doing some favoritism uh, and some. It was no, no not at all. Could say, no, yeah, I, I would never you know, say. Uh, with these referees, uh, I know. I mean, when we used to play, we used to complain a lot, saying that they were, you know, uh, just uh, taking all the faults uh, on us. And when you are on the game, you see uh, differently. So Absolutely. I know uh, no, from the yeah, position, yeah, yes, of yes, the perspective yes. of a player, you know how many times I, mean, I got really angry about what they're doing. But um, so let's go in the game uh, here. They do Ege, the best they can. Ege, uh, from Turkey in blue against uh, Malmö Triton in white. Uh, exhausting day for both teams and for uh, us <laughs> and for us uh, for sure it's now we're uh, at least half an hour behind the, the schedule and um, it's now uh, 20 uh, it's 10 30 um, and uh, Ege is uh, uh, at the basket of uh, Mami Triton but Mami Triton uh, was uh, successfully uh, took the ball away from uh, from Ege, but it stopped in the middle of the pool. We see a heavy four checking now in the middle of the pool. Um, but uh, Malmö is fighting for every inch uh, going forward, and then the, the ball is just uh, zipping back and forth uh, between these players who attack each other. There's a this is again a very fast game, and now uh, Malmö is attacking the basket of uh, Ege and uh, call from the referee. Free throw against uh, Ege, probably pushing without or holding without ball. Um, this is going to be for both teams. Uh, um, what is going to be for both teams? Uh, <laughs> it's going. It's going to be exhausting for both teams because you see the the uh, the the level of. Uh, a power they put in the water. Very nice uh, ball playing uh, here. I think from Tarkan he played behind his back. Oh, Whoa! Wow, that was. was nice basket, if oh. he could have reached the ball, the ba the basket next to him was empty, and the way they just push away the ball, they could have been uh, uh, the first goal for uh, Ege. But uh, the Malmö Triton player was right in between and stopped the pass. Called from the referees. We see a lot of uh, referee uh, interception right now. Um, because the games are getting heavier and uh, you really, as a referee, you really have to make a statement. And uh, make sure that they don't hurt each other. Because exactly, and you control I mean, the game. They are uh, <coughs> here now is the pre-round uh, for the um, fight between the places 5 to 8. Um, so... Uh, I understand that the referees need to keep uh, the, the, the game clean, but they need to, to see that if they, you know, stop, uh, it, stop uh, it too every much, second. then uh, they uh, break the flow of the game. So, um, you know, it has to be like a golden middle there. Anyway, we have nice, Ege uh, just stealing recovered away the ball. How fast? Really uh, great. I mean, a double pass and, oh, the... the but uh, the, 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 the receiver really, uh, of the ball swam directly into a Malmö player. 
and was stopped. But a nice ball playing between the legs to speed up uh, uh, the, the player receiving the ball. Very well done. Ball control of Ege is uh, very nice here. Um, Did but Ege play in the EuroLeague? Yes. yes. Yeah, you see this, that... Uh, the dynamic game is... Uh but they did it before they did uh, play. Um, if you saw uh, Eggy University's uh, uh, last year, it was also quite... It was also quite fast. Uh, so um, I think their, their adaption uh, to this uh, fast, good game... I remember... Uh, uh, oh! And Didn't goal see what was Eger. happening. Yeah, I mean, I... It just came out of uh, from out the of surface the down, yeah, <laughs> out of the blue water. Wow. Sorry, people. Uh, it's you know we're getting tired and we so might I'm not sure be uh, Levin Kavas will game. celebrate now. Let us see your celebration in the live stream, Levant uh, Levent Kavas. So very nice play of Eggy here, uh, one zero uh, against Malmö. Still uh, uh, almost ten minutes ago in this first half. Um, now uh, Malmö has to speed up the game, uh, at least to equalize, um, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, Eger is playing hard and it doesn't make it uh, really easy. Yeah, they, no. they, the foot checking is very good and the counter-attack is really... And they go fast, uh, uh, really fast, fast and decisive. Yes. I'm impressed. Uh, uh, here we go again. Another fast speed attack from an Ege player, leaving the first four checker behind, reaching the goal, playing the ball to uh, his teammate coming from the close side. And he's pushing hard on the goalkeeper of uh, Malmö. Pushing, pushing, pushing. But Malmö Still did there, a good there's defense. a call from the referee. I don't know what uh, happened here. Didn't see it. Because of on the other side of the basket. So I. Um Uh, the Two chief minutes. referee here is uh, Bob Robinson. Two minutes for a player. We don't know what happened. Which kind of... What? Uh, do you know Malmo the color? Already is, uh, a Ege player or a, a, a Malmo player? Uh, Malmo. Here comes uh, Ege again. Uh, on the open side. Ball uh, to the close side. And now we see again a lot of pushing into the basket. Uh, th now they go in with really with force, with bodily strength. Yeah, Malmo has five players, so this is also the chance that Ege has to yeah. score a second goal and make sure, you know, to make to uh, secure the difference. Ege wants to force this uh, this uh, second goal with all their might. In these two minutes, they have the ball is dropping down, um, catched by uh, two, three Ege players. Uh, they, uh, the one uh, down at the wall, uh, the side of the, uh, on the long side of the pool, was giving his teammates uh, time to recover. And now they go in again. Uh, one egg player, two egg players, uh, ball passing out of the danger zone around the uh, defense. Um, they do quite a go good job here to open up space and to wear out uh, the defense. But Malmö is defending with all they, they have in the water and they do a good job too. It's uh, almost impossible for Ege to get, uh, uh, not get close to the basket, but uh, to score there and to open up a gap. And now uh, Malmö is even uh, attacking. But and you know, uh, there's no kind, there's no really tension or or, or very uh, danger uh, by um, Ege. Okay, right now the ball just fell into the feet of the defender, and the Malmo player just recovered and passed it. So they trying to withdraw and attack on the other angle, coming from the close corner. Uh, they stop in the middle by the fort hacking, and uh, they lost the ball. The Ege um, player recover, pass it to the other uh, playmate and they keep passing something happened, they're holding without ball I believe. It's another call, it's from the chief referee Bob Robinson uh, on the surface. I didn't see the signal. No, Free throw Egan against uh, Malmö. And, uh, 
Ege was faster and took the basket, and now they are either Time out <laughs> uh, for uh, Malmö, I think. No, that's a clever play. Um. Well, this is uh, also an intense game. All the, the, the games uh, we saw uh, are uh, very uh, intense, uh, very emotional. We are uh, in the finals here, in the semi-finals, uh, decisive games in the Champions Cup 2016. And uh, there are more than 300 people here in the live chat. And uh, impressive uh, uh, what Ege does here. Um, but also, uh, Mami Tritor is doing a, doing a very good job having a, a penalty uh, time for a player and still withstanding the avalanche of uh, the uh, Ege attack. Impressive game, and now we're back in the game. Timeout is over. Uh, one and a half, one and a half minutes left in this first uh, half uh, of this game. Uh, Ege from uh, Turkey in blue against Mami Triton in white uh, from uh, Sweden. Uh, incredible. And uh, hello to uh, Urban Birebring if you're watching this. Say hello to Linnea and your whole family. Um, Ege is attacking on the head of the goalie from uh, Malmö. Uh, but um, couldn't achieve the uh, to score another goal. Uh, penalty. Penalty. Whoa. I didn't see. <sighs> uh, did Probably shoulder a shoulder uh, or uh, uh, holding of the basket. Um, penalty against Malmö. Hmm. This is uh, a tough game uh, uh, considering the penalties for Malmö. Uh, getting a two minute penalty and now. Uh, um, uh, penalty throw, um, but like I said, uh, the referees here in this uh, game are the best referees in the world, and uh, you cannot wish for more. You don't want to have a game like this with uh, less experienced uh, uh, referees. Now, the Ege player is going in uh, uh, on the bottom. Um, there was a grip to the head from uh, the Malmö player, but now the Ege player oh. is almost free, the ball dropped down, the ball is loose, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's free, and it's, uh, wow! And it's inside, and it was... <laughs> he threw it in, uh, the ball was free, and uh, floating uh, around... Um, then the end of, that's the end of the first half. So 2-0 wow. for Ayer, and they have 15 more, uh, 10 more minutes to go. It's quite a good start uh, but um, I think that for this Ege in the second half. almost decided, I mean... And Malmo is doing a good job and is defending good, but they are mm, I think so? they are missing they are missing the attack momentum. They are not really um, in the basket of Ege. They defend and they react to the pace of Ege, but they are not really um, making uh, a stress uh, on the basket of uh, Ege. And you know, we already seen no pressure, no goal, or. At least a lucky punch, but that's just you know uh, the exceptions. No well, my my bet would be on Ege too, but uh, don't as underestimate uh, Malmo. They have experienced players, and uh, uh, if they don't open up now and uh, play more offensive uh, in a more offensive game, they lost already. So I think they talk now about uh, uh, risking more and uh, maybe catching another goal, but. Uh, uh, open them up the possibility to score, uh, equalize, even win, or equalize to go into penalties with Ege. Um, it's late now here in Berlin, the Champions Cup 2016. It's uh, 10 to 11. So For we, those are, uh, we are almost half an hour behind on the schedule, which is uh, okay. Which I is mean not so bad with... Uh, uh, 30 games in one day. For those who just uh, tuned in, um, uh, we are the commentators here of the Champions Cup. Uh, next to, uh, to my left is Lorena. Uh, she's a, a referee, coach, and a world uh, champion from Cali with a uh, German women's team last year. Yeah, let me explain. They're asking uh, about the, the match before. 
what uh, happened, I mean, what does it mean that Castores won? Uh, there are three teams on to, to play for the top three, and this is Akaren, this is Langen, and this is Castores, and they are playing like a triangular. So they play against each other, and the one that wins more uh, matches wins. So Castores is not in the final. I mean, now we have to wait and see what happens between Akaren and Langen and between uh, Akaren and Castores. And then at the end of it, we'll know what's the position of the first, second, and third of the women. Um, see. Sorry. Uh, at Continue. least Castores has uh, now an advantage with one one game. One one game, exactly. So, but we saw that also uh, uh, one time uh, that the drum team lost one game and then... Uh, then recover, yes. Then yes. recover, no? So, so still everything's open. Still everything's uh, open. If it's, uh, it's a point equal, it's a direct uh, competition. Yeah. So that means uh, if... Uh, and also the goal difference. I mean, that depends. Yeah, um, when all three teams l play each other, there's uh, still uh, a lot of options. But uh, you look are you looking for the T-shirt? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> so I was just introducing us, I talked about Lorena, uh, now we are, ah, sorry, we are already in the game, let's go back into the game, uh, the second half of uh, Ege uh, uh, from Turkey in blue against uh, Malmö Triton uh, from Sweden in white and uh, Ege is going heavily from the open side on the uh, basket of uh, Malmö but Malmö broke free, ball is free, uh, the Malmö player lost the ball um, holding without uh, ball, free throw against uh, Ege. And uh, I think the clock is not right. Shouldn't this be... Uh, no, it's okay. It's the start of the second half. 15 minutes? 10. No. Ah, ten. no, the mo tomorrow in the, fin in the, in the finals, yes. Oh, <laughs> our brain is melting, coming out, out of our ears. <laughs> yes, luckily that's I that's wear really a headset, yeah. so my brain is not floating on the mm. floor. Oh. Oh, sorry. There's still something to float? <laughs> I don't know. I feel a, I feel a hollow uh, divine emptiness. I, I think I will uh, dream of this bunker tonight. <laughs> oh, good dreaming. So we're again uh, back in the game here. Uh, Ege defended quite well, recovered the ball, and is now a counter attack. But the counter attack was stopped in the middle of the pool by a uh, uh, no, no, uh, Malmö player. Y and uh, mañana. Um, oh, it's even later in a uh, Turkey event. Uh, Kavas told us. Uh, um, Levent, you don't have to worry about the representation of your country here by Ege. I saw them in Oberhausen at the DOTM and uh, talked a lot to Tarkan. And your players are just great, uh, very nice people. And uh, everybody loves uh, the Turkish team here. And uh, it's, it's really, they're part of the underwater rugby family. And they became uh, part of it really fast because they're really, really nice people. Um, and uh, good on the water rugby players and funny and uh, yeah just we love them don't worry <laughs> so uh, this is a counter attack from uh, uh, Ege again um, stopped uh, by Malmö uh, call from the referee I think they swim out of the game area So this is uh, Egg against Malmo, and then we have two more games to go. One women, Barcelona Nasut, and then uh, the last men uh, um, game, Ferenze against Zurich. So seven minutes left. Egg is winning 2-0 against Malmo, and I don't see that Malmo is in the position to change the game around. I mean, Egg know very well what they're doing. They are. They, I mean, they're doing it, and they're not giving. Malmo a chance to, to stop them from doing it. I mean, Malmo is doing what they can. They're reacting, they're fighting and, and uh, stopping with the four checking. But um, Ege is keep possession of the ball and keep coming, really keep coming playing. very fast. And uh, now we have another goal. So 3-0, this is quite clear. And another goal for Ege. <coughs> and uh, they earned that they uh, 
pushed very hard um, into the defense of uh, Malmi Triton. So, um, tomorrow we start at 9 o'clock in the morning uh, with a game between Firenze and Vienna with uh, the, the women and continue uh, until early afternoon, until 3.30 or so uh, with the final between Molde and Bamberg. Um, so another attack here from Ege and uh, they're, yeah, they start uh, to destroy the defense of Malmö and uh, scored another goal. It's a 4-0 now for uh, Ege. Um, they're pushing really hard and going in uh, uh, with a lot of uh, self-confidence now. Um, and you see Malmö suffering uh, from uh, from these attacks another attack uh, four three four players uh, of uh, uh, Ege pushing in on the basket but the ball was uh, ball was recovered from uh, um, from Mamitriton and Anso tries to fight free here but uh, she's held by two Ege players and uh, for a little time the Goal of uh, Malmö was uh, wide open, no defender and no uh, goalkeeper. And now uh, Ege is coming in on the uh, protected goal again from the open side, pushing hard, but the ball is uh, just squished out of his uh, arm. And uh, the Ege player recovered it. Another Ege player going up to the surface, playing down to this, uh, up to his uh, teammate. And uh, here we go, another attack. They, they really push hard. Call from the referee. Four minutes left. But this game... Uh so, four minutes to go for Ciro, for Ega. And uh, the Turkish have been playing a very consistent cap and they have been really showing how how good and how far they are in the developing of the sport in, in Turkey and you know that, that that's great uh, they are right here they're defeating one of the old traditional um, favorites uh, Sweden and um, they uh, con you know they keep consisting um, attacking and for taking and keeping possession of the ball, very determined, a very um, secure, uh, great to watch, speed, strength. I mean, nice game. Yeah, it's a it's a very uh, uh, fast game again, and uh, uh, it's a demanding game too for both teams. But Ege is uh, quite an advantage uh, with a leading 4-0, uh, so they have the confidence and a push um, to go uh, in the wheel and uh, Malmö uh, does its best but uh, uh, they are lacking behind and it's uh, less than three minutes left it will be difficult for them uh, almost impossible to turn the tables around yeah it's impossible this, um. but Malmö you know I feel a little bit sad for them because they ha I, they they really play good matches yeah, and they they, they, they defend, did. but they couldn't really establish a pattern of attack. I mean, they did a great defending and for checking, but yeah, a bit. Uh, the they they will not be lucky. happy. They will not be happy with the mm. day. Uh, they had a lot of uh, uh, strong opponents, and uh, it was a tough tough day for them. So, almost... Uh, One minute 50 yeah, left. Almost over. But here comes uh, Malmö, a fast attack uh, on the Ege basket. But... Mm, there was one, a good two players. There's here. another player. They don't give up. Uh, they know they have only one uh, and, uh, three minutes left, one thirty minutes left. Um, but they don't give up. They push really hard. 
Um, but Eggy is giving them a hard time, and they don't don't succeed in uh, entering uh, the the uh, or position themselves uh, at the basket to score or at the Eggy basket to score. So um, again, uh, free throw against Malmö. One minute left, and Egg continues attacking. But, you know, they keep possession of the ball, they keep consistency in the way they attack, it's very firm from the close area, but Malmo did a great job, protect and got the ball, uh, but Ege recovered it, and uh, they're playing uh, in the middle field, and Ege recover and, you know, swims toward the Malmo basket, and do a pass to the next Ege player, that Coming three of them attacking over the open side and then passing the ball to the other side and the goalie from Malmo is away and then the basket is empty and the ball didn't go in. Good job Malmo defending that. One second and they almost got another uh, goal. So 4-0 for Ege. Well done by Ege and uh, pity for Malmo. Uh, it was a tough game, tough day for them, and they did not have uh, the luck they probably deserved. But uh, Eggy fought well and uh, did win uh, clear uh, with a 4-0 here in this, uh, in this game.